there are many areas in COPD that could need improvement. It's a huge killer. It's an extreme source of morbidity in all European countries and globally, and we are changing things very slowly. I think the biggest gap in research into COPD is finding out what the disease is. The names of diseases come from way, way back before we knew anything about disease mechanisms, about molecular medicine, and perhaps we should just shake it all a little bit and say, for instance, do we need asthma, COPD, asthma, COPD overlap, when actually we're talking about perhaps 20, 30 different diseases and start labeling them differently. Labeling helps us to promote uh, our understanding to others who know the specialty slightly less well, but it holds us back research-wise if we keep pooling all patients under terms that are not really helpful. I think the problem with COD is that a lot of tissue is destroyed. If you have emphysema, you lose a lot of your alveolar tissue. And to think that pharmacology, as we understand it today, would be helpful will never work. We need to go into the area of regenerative medicine to see how we can actually start working either with scaffolding, with stem cell therapy in a much more focused way in order to help those patients who already lost perhaps half of their lung function. I think if we look at prevention of COPD, we need to look completely differently. We know now that COPD is based in childhood, perhaps even before birth. We need to think of a life cycle and we need to understand that the only way to reduce COPD in the decades to come is to first of all make sure that we improve children's lung health. We need to ensure that children can breathe clean air. That's the start. We need to make sure that they are not repeatedly infected. We need to make sure they don't take up smoking when they became teenagers. All that happens way before we usually recognize COPD. So I think from a prevention point of view, if we start working with 40-year-olds, we've lost the plot. I think we have not been very good at linking specialist care with primary care in any country I'm aware of. And I think we can do much, much better. In Manchester, where I practice, we have something we call virtual clinics, where I go out in different practices every week, and we go through patients on a list. Look at their treatments, look at their history. I come up with suggestions for changes. And I think so far it's been an immensely giving dialogue I'm not just teaching, I'm learning more about patients in primary care. We get a good communication. It's easier to talk about issues we meet later um, on other topics. And I think we need a better interaction between primary, secondary and tertiary care in COPD. Mm -hmm.